So I have a really stupid theory I want to put out there. In the blue episode Trades, we see Chili have a koi pond installed in her backyard, something that has been foreshadowed ever since the season 2 episode Stumpfest. You're the one who wanted a gun! Oh yeah, that's true. I want to put in a fish pond. Oh. This is an interesting episode regarding the continuity of the show, not only because of the foreshadowing I just mentioned, but also because we specifically see one of the titular tradies fix a mailbox that was ran over by Bingo in the episode that came out right before it. But interestingly, that's where the continuity seems to stop, because aside from this episode, we haven't seen the koi pond since. Not in the slide, where Bingo and Layla slide all around the backyard, where we also get to see the butterfly that will later be important in the sign. Not in the most recent episode that came out, Ghost Basket, where we see a shot of the healer's entire backyard and there's no pond in sight. At the very end of that episode, we see a for sale sign, which once again, no koi pond in it. Also fun fact, the blue team actually put out a real listing on a real real estate website. And once again, lo and behold, no koi pond. And that brings up a question to me. Where did the koi pond go? And also, why even spend the money in stealing a koi pond when the healers assumptively already knew they were going to sell their house? Well, at first you might say, It's a kid's show! You shouldn't expect it to have this level of continuity in one aspect when it doesn't have it in other aspects. For example, the spare bedroom and bedroom. To which I say you are incorrect. Because Bluey has already shown itself to have this level of continuity. Not only with the mailbox I mentioned earlier, but also with the fact that on the very first episode of Season 3 Perfect, Bandit puts a picture on the fridge. A picture which you can see in almost every episode since then, showing that this team has some level of foresight and planning around continuity. So what am I proposing? Well, as I mentioned in a recent community post, we know for a fact that at least one episode of Bluey is out of sync with the rest. Specifically, Christmas Swim. Because it's a Christmas episode, it has to take place exactly a year after the last Christmas episode. Because Sox is older and that's generally how Christmas works. But in the actual episode order, it takes place between two birthdays. And you can't logically do that. So, to work in the timeline, it has to take place after all these other episodes. So my question is, if one episode is out of order, how do we know more aren't? That's right, I'm proposing that Trades is the same way and takes place after Ghost Basket and The Sign. Now, immediately there is a problem with this theory, and that's that don't they sell their house in The Sign? Well, as of the time I make this video, there is no way of knowing because that episode has not come out yet. And while we do know that their house is up for sale, we don't know if they'll actually follow through with it or if they'll make a last minute back out. After all, the house in Bluey is almost the most iconic thing about the show, featured on merchandise, the website, and literally being the first thing you see in almost every single episode. So why get rid of it? However, there is a second and more pressing issue with this theory, and that is the mailbox easter egg that I mentioned earlier. This small action intertwines Trades in the timeline with the episode that came out right before it. That episode being none other than onesies. You know, the episode where Chili's sister Brandy finally reunites with her sibling after four years of separation? This is an issue because in onesies, Brandy is actively lamenting her inability to have children, while in trailers for the sign, we see Brandy pregnant. Now, I do feel the need to point out that I haven't actually seen the trailers for this episode but I have seen enough YouTube thumbnails that I think I get the point. Look, I just prefer going into media I'm excited about as blind as possible, so I'm sorry if this episode is actively disproven by that trailer. I don't care. So at first, this might seem like a big problem, until you realize that it's still possible that the sign came first in the timeline, because the baby could have died prematurely. And yeah, that might seem like a super dark story that Blue would never tell, until you realize they literally already did. So if this theory is true, then Brandy will act uncharacteristically distant from the healers because at this point in the timeline, they still haven't talked in four years. And then after the sign, Brandy's baby will die off screen, and that is what finally makes her reconnect to Chili, as we see in onesies. Which is why she acts so desperate in that episode. She was so close, and yet so far. Or maybe this is just a dumb kid show where koi ponds magically disappear for no reason. I guess we'll find out tomorrow when the episode comes out. Okay, bye now. I need to edit this video in record time if I want it to come out tomorrow. Okay, have a wonderful day!